Hi. Uh, for you watching, if you're doing it right away, about 24 hours have passed. For me, it's been about two and a half minutes, just enough to get packages moved and shifted and ready to go. And this would be my little Amazon haul that I had come in this week in conjunction with my groovy purchases. So um, we're just going to maybe try to keep this one a little bit brief given what happened to me in the last attempt. So we're just going to dive in and start. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What do we got here? I already sliced all these open in preparation. Ooh, I saw this. I want to say I saw this in the theater when it came out. What year did this come out? The thing I dislike about a lot of 4K cases, they don't always make the years obvious. 2019 layout, uh, 2009 title. That's some really fine print there. I'm getting old. Anyway, 4K, Moon. Very cool psychological thriller starring Sam Rockwell. I don't really care for this art, though. It just eh, seems a little basic for what the movie is. I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Give me some thoughts here. This is, uh, I don't know. Okay. White, 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 white. Is that racist? <laughs> Box. Wrapping. Wrapping. Yeah. That's sad. Wrapping was half the box. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, blind by. I got this out of morbid curiosity because I saw last month, month before, Strangers Chapter One. That was not a good movie. Laughably predictable. Laughably implausible in several places. It just drove me absolutely bonkers. Didn't like it. Wouldn't recommend it. But I had never seen any of the other movies in the franchise. The other two, I understand. But I went poking around online and I found Shout Factory's collector's edition of the original, The Strangers. Which, this movie here gets a lot of praise. Chapter one, not so much. Whatever the second title was, I don't even know, um, in the franchise. Also, didn't get much in the way of praise. This one here seems to be fairly universally liked. Stars Liv Tyler, James Hoyt. Um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to check this out. I think this thing was at a discounted price on Amazon. I think I paid maybe $16 in that neighborhood, which for a Shout Factory release isn't really half bad. So grab that up. Next up, we have a 4K, this time with slipcover. Yay. Uh, not a great, great movie, but one that I had a lot of fun with this year when I saw it in the theater a couple months back. Um, 4K came out, it was a little excessively high priced I thought for a while and it finally came down to reasonable which reasonable I think I think is $22, $24 I think which is usually where I start looking at a movie not where I actually pull the trigger and, and purchase it but in this case I did and in this case we're talking about the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare I really dig that title it is so British Yes, uh, very good, fun, World War II heisty type flick, but not really heisty, just had that kind of heisty tone with uh, this little ragtag group of operatives doing the naughty stuff during the war that new, 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 we cannot sanction officially, right? But uh, yeah, I just had very much a heist kind of feel, um, very Guy Ritchie-esque, which... Wasn't this a Guy Ritchie movie, isn't it? <laughs> I believe it was. That's just too funny. Uh, da, 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 da. And of course, they don't want to tell me. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, we're just going to call it Guy Ritchie because... <laughs> Who cares? Right? Anyway, good, good, good fun stuff. And uh, speaking of fun stuff, Blind by. I don't know if any of you people are... EFAP viewers, but 
back in April or so, I was listening to the Fap Crew cover this movie and how batshit crazy it is in a so bad, it's memeable and laughable movie. Something I was never going to go see in the theater. Wouldn't think twice about even wanting to watch it, let alone owning it, until I listened to their commentary on it as they walked through the film in excruciating detail. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> I just need to see this. So I went on a search on Amazon, got a third-party seller that I've dealt with before, and strictly looking at purchasing it as a used copy and getting it uh, in a good condition as cheap as possible because I, I, I just, I don't know how this is going to work out, but uh, <laughs> this is the Madam Web. <laughs> this is so bad, I understand. Um, but again, this uh, particular seller has been almost 100% reliable. And this disc, Blu-ray, looks immaculate. So, conceivably, somebody bought it just to get the digital code, because it did come with one, and decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to get back a, a portion of my purchase price by selling the physical to some some dweeb in the world that thinks they still need to own physical media as if they still make that kind of person in the world, right? So I got it. I might just put this at the top of my stack. Maybe check it out tomorrow night after work. Um. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm just in for a wild ride on this one, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, that one was real brief. Four quick and easy Amazon titles. That's it. That's it. We're done. I appreciate you all joining me once again. Thank you very much for keeping this one brief. We're looks like coming in just under eight minutes. So I will bid you all a fine evening. And once again, thank you for being here. Good night. <laughs>